Morning guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be breaking down the workout Oliver Bridgewood used to get to 5 watts per kilo. Let's get straight into it. So you've decided today's the day you're going to finally get your ass into gear and do some training. That's fine, everyone's going to die someday. So you're wearing last year's skin suit, which is two sizes too small. Because in your mind, looking fast is being fast. And the science is very clear. What you wear when you train is more important than what you do when you train. If it wasn't, then it wouldn't be. But it is. So here you are, wearing the skin suit two years ago, you swear you'd never fit into again. Looking cool and ready to pull chicks. Well, the only thing you're going to be pulling today is the pin on the workout. You bought the skin suit and bike hoping that you could change your base fitness. Invariably, you'll sell the skin suit and bike knowing that you can't. That won't stop you trying. So we need to find somewhere to train. You might say the hills. What are you, retarded? Anyone who's on the hills hasn't got there by accident. That means they've decided to go there. That makes them faster than you. This means they're dangerous and the enemy. How are you going to dominate someone that's faster than you? Okay, so you might think let's train downhill. What are you, a savage? The only thing that needs to be going downhill fast today is your mental state when you fail this training session. So that leaves training on the flat. This is the perfect location to ensure you're maintaining the maximum exposure to other cyclists but not hanging around them so long that they see you fail the training session. Okay, now you've decided where you're gonna work out. Now you need to set the intensity. Training starts at 300 watts. Anything less is like counting onion rings as one of your five a day. It doesn't count. And to break your training down even further, Einstein said it best. Some things in life that you can count aren't worth counting. So why bother counting intervals that aren't gonna count? And to quote the man again, he said you can only fail at something if you stop trying. Well, how can you fail at anything if you never start trying? You gotta be smart. You gotta bail on this training session before you've even got out, out of bed. So you might message your training buddy, say something along the lines of high heart rate variability, or you've gone to pump your tires up and your valves are welded shut because they're tubeless. And how are you gonna pump your ego up if you can't pump your tires up? It's only once we accept our limits we can truly surpass them. But how can we surpass something that we have none of? Because we have no limits to how low we're willing to go to not do this training. We have to accept that a high level of fitness is 1% hard work and 99% talent. And we get better at doing things by repeating them. So we'll see you again next week for the same session. Right guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you've got any other workouts you like repeating weekly and failing at. We'll see you in the next one.